Many people are disappointed that Santa Barbara County extended its mask mandate for at least another 30 days. Hoping it would end today. News Channel 3 Scott Sheehan joins us live downtown. And Scott, the mask mandate will take us through at least part of the holidays. Right, Beth, CJ will go at least another month. And it's similar to that tiered system that we've already seen during the pandemic that once we get to a lower case rate, then the mandate could go away. But there's a large part of the population that has already met that goal. So if you want to get rid of the masks, go out there and get your vaccine. That's the message from Santa Barbara County leaders. COVID cases are still higher than public health would like. So this week, they extended the indoor mask mandate. I just don't think that wearing a mask is a terrible sacrifice to be able to keep our schools open and keep society functioning. On Hollister Avenue in Glita, CZ Furniture Solution managers are willing to do what it takes to stay open. If the city or the state mandates uh, to wear the mask for another month, uh, we're going to do it uh, just uh, to protect our customers and uh, make sure that everybody is safe. On State Street in Santa Barbara, some students echo that sentiment. They'll wear a mask if it means they can stay in the classroom. I'm fine with wearing a mask if that means we're going to be able to keep going to school because I like the environment that we're in right now. I'm okay with it lasting another month, but I do think people should get vaccinated because it's good for you and it's good to keep others safe. Santa Barbara County Public Health officials say they will recommend the indoor mask mandate until the county's case rate drops below 6 per 100,000 or lower and stays there for two weeks. As of October 28th, the county was at 9.5 cases per 100,000. Unvaccinated people were about six times more likely to get sick than those who are vaccinated. The vaccinated case rate is already below the threshold set by public health at 3.3 cases per 100,000, while the case rate among the unvaccinated is 18.3 per 100,000. Supervisor Doss Williams says the county is considering a reward system for the vaccinated. Now, when I talked with Supervisor Williams about if Santa Barbara County will follow San Francisco or Los Angeles requiring a vaccine mandate indoors, he says they're not sure yet. However, he did say that uh, they are trying to talk with Ventura and San Luis Obispo County is about trying to get a unified policy for the Tri-County area. In Santa Barbara, Scott Sheehan, News Channel 3.